Near the U.S. border, a 1.1 million square foot greenhouse once filled with tomatoes, now getting a makeover to grow cannabis and lots of it. Uh, the conservative forecast is 75,000 kilograms a year. That's more than 165,000 pounds. This British Columbia farm is one of several licensed growers that will supply marijuana as Canada prepares for its first day of recreational pot sales. We will soon have a new system in place, one that keeps cannabis out of the hands of our kids and keeps profits away from organized crime. Canada is now only the second country in the world and the largest to legalize the drug nationally. About 100 dispensaries across the country are expected to be open on the first day of sales, October 17th. I have no doubt there will be hiccups. Uh, you know, this is a, a major public policy shift in this country, probably the largest in several decades. Uh, so, uh, but I think we're, we're, we're ready. Unlike in the U.S. where marijuana is illegal at the federal level, the Canadian cannabis industry will have access to banking and mail delivery. Customers can order online and have pot delivered to their door. Major corporations are paying attention. The parent company of Corona Beer has pledged a $4 billion investment in a farming company called Canopy Growth. And then over here we have the products themselves. A lot of these are going to vanish soon. Legalization day has been a long time coming for Chris Clay, a veteran activist. He was arrested more than 20 years ago for selling marijuana plant clones at his store in Ontario. You know you're completely shutting down? Yeah, we have to close down on the 15th of October to get licensed. I know it's not good news, but... His medical marijuana dispensary in British Columbia is technically illegal, so he's closing it to apply for a license. His employees will be without work for an unknown period of time. So that'll be a little frustrating, but overall I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm glad people aren't going to be arrested anymore for possession, for, you know, carrying around small amounts of cannabis. Canada's big policy shift being watched closely across the border and around the world. As soon as you're open, let me know. I'll bring you some... Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.